Hey guys, Diablo Man Dan here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a Barbarian build I've been using since the new patch hit. Uh, it's a good replacement for the Whirlwind Barb if that you probably are used to. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, here's the skills. We got the primary weapon throw with balanced weapon. Then we have secondary ancient spear with boulder toss. Ground stomp with wrenching smash. Leap with call Ariat. Threatening Shout with, dem with Demoralize, and War Cry with Charge, and then here's a passive, Superstition, Unforgiving, Animosity. Alright, there's those, and then also take a look at the, where I spent my Paragon points for this build. Let's see, under the core, I've got points in Maximum Fury, and then Offensive, we have points in Critical Hit Chance, and then Resist All, and Area Damage. Okay, that's the lowdown of here, of the build. And I'll show you the kind of gear I have. I have a, most of my gear is from the old patch before 2.0.1. Uh, so you got the Immortal King set, and gives me more fury and helps gain fury and stuff. And all that together, we have uh, currently 171 fury, which that helps us get pretty high crits with the uh, boulder toss that's on Ancient, uh, Ancient Spear. Okay, I'm going to jump out here and kind of give you a show you how I use these skills together. Good ways to use uh, the actual war cry. Increase your armor and give you some fury if you're not at max level already. And then here's the boulder toss. Boom, 5 billion damage. Just like that. Completely empties out your fury. So that's why we went with uh, a balanced weapon on the weapon throw. Because that gives us 8 additional fury. You see how fast the bar is getting up there. You can toss another boulder. See some nice big numbers. Okay, so that's why we have that there. And let's see, uh, show you the ground stomp here. So that's really good when monsters are kind of scattered around. You want to suck them all in together. You know, kind of st stun them a bit and suck them in and get them set up for your boulder. Okay. And a leap is the same kind of way, but I also use it to help get myself out of trouble. Stuff and weapon throws just doing your main attack. You see the nice, pretty nice big numbers here. Um, as I have seen some people say they've been able to get 10, 12, 13 million. Uh, my gear isn't the best, so that's why mine are kind of smaller, but this still works. You see, I'm on a Torment 1 difficulty, and it's still pretty fun. As long as you always, whenever you get your fury full, you always want to, you know, throw out your boulders and stuff. Get the monsters all grouped. That's the main thing is getting them all grouped together. And see, uh, threatening shout. It kind of helps with that a little bit too, but I usually just use it mostly for its uh, fury generator. You always want to be at max fury whenever you can, because that means you can you're ready to let your boulders loose. You can kill everything pretty quick. Okay, and like I said, this is on Torment 1. Um, you, you know, you've got better gear, you can be able to do it in higher Torment levels. Um, I probably could do it in higher levels, but I found for me that Torment 1 difficulty works out the best. As you can see, uh, I also do have a 300 spear, which gives me, you know, increases my weapon throw and ancient spear damage, which that helps out a lot. Um, like I said, I already showed you the Immortal King set to help me gain fury and give me more maximum fury. Um, but there's a lot of the different stuff that I could change out and probably will as I find more items on the in the new patch. But uh, to, I thought I'd do this video to help you guys get an, a rough idea on a good build to start with. And uh, hopefully you won't be missing the Whirlwind build too much. This one's a lot of fun and I you definitely should try it out. 